Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny and Tyler, the Emergency Medical Council, will bring you our next video in our series of quick tips, tricks, and techniques you can take with you into the field. Today we're going to be talking about glucometry. It's a pretty basic skill. A lot of our more seasoned providers probably aren't going to want to see this, but we still have some newer providers and students who do need to see it. So, when you come to make a finger stick, I know it's very tempting to use the index finger. It's out here in the open. There's nothing really blocking you from getting to it. It's an easy stick. But the problem is you use it all the time. Touch pads, pens, pencils. A lot of pressure on here, a lot of use. So we recommend coming in here and going for the ring finger. Note he's swabbing the side of the finger and not the pad where I'm going to be picking stuff up. Makes it a lot easier for the patients. So he swabbed for 30 seconds and now we're making the stick. And what we're going to get right here is going to be a dirty stick. That blood is contaminated. We're getting a reading that's going to show the sugar content in my own blood, as well as the sugar and the alcohol that was used to prep the site. So we got a reading of 103. Now we're going to properly clean the area, decontaminate it, and get a fresh reading and see what the difference is. So, putting a new strip in, swabs away the contaminated blood, All right, now we have another sample. All right, let's see what we get this time. 96. So we had a pretty big difference. So that's how you do a finger stick, get a blood glucose reading. 